My name is Cesar Viveros. I'm a Mexican who emigrated to the United States. Uh, first time to Philadelphia, and I, I love this city so much that I decide just to stay here. What's the cempasuchil again? It's uh, cempasuchil is a typical Mexican uh, flower. In the same family of the um, marigold. Uh, orange or yellow and people use it uh, for the tradition of Day of the Dead altars in Mexico like around first week of November so this part is my favorite I combine um, growing cempasuchi flower again this is this is the typical the typical flower this um, It's a, a nice bunch here. Since ancient times, uh, different cultures decided that that was the, the best offering they could do to celebrate the, the dead. But more than that is the, the fact that if we can provide an opportunity for people to plant their own, their own flowers, uh, it's, it's more of a symbol. Something that you took care of for months, uh, you tender the plants and then got the flowers. Now, when you build your altar, you can you can use something that is, you know, it have a lot more symbolism to you. And this is like an average altar that you will see in every ho household in Mexico. It's a big tradition. I don't know if you want to talk about the symbolism, but um, it's very simple. Uh, you, you think about this like you are going to have the most special guest in your house. Why? Because in the belief um, of Catholic people, when we talk about Day of the Dead, is that the souls of the departed ones are allowed to come to Earth and be the closest they can to you, so the arch the altar becomes like a portal to that encounter. This is where we meet our beloved ones. Pan de muerto. Just for the passion. I think the red would like make it pop. The red? Yeah. Very intense. And also, in my mind, it's going to be closer to what I have before. Yeah. And I, can, I can always change it. Yeah. Here, I'm going to go red for now. No design, just the flat color. We like to take it outside. We like the, f the fact that we're gonna be able to go to the Cherry Street Pier on and, and, and November 30th to do this celebration. And then November the 1st, I'm so glad that we're gonna do it at the Iglesias Garden, where we have been growing all these flowers uh, all year long, preparing, building this sculpture, huge sculpture of representation of Miklantecutli, and, and it's going to be there for, for people to come and interact and and have this beautiful uh, gathering. Uh, we need it so bad after all this pandemic and being very isolated, we, we can do it. I wanted to dedicate this time to a long tradition that we have in Mexico. I want to say that that might be the, I would say it's the biggest tradition, the biggest cultural event. We have Independence Day, we have Cinco de Mayo, we have uh, many other celebrations just like any other country. But Day of the Dead is the only time of the year when we celebrate for about two days um, what we call La Ofrenda, which is the offering that we do 
And in this tradition, we believe that the soul of the departed ones are able to come to our realm, to our world, for at least two days.